Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today we have some amazing news to discuss while we eagerly await for the Electra Jailbreak to be released. Now, a new developer beta jailbreak has been released for iOS 11.2 to 11.3.1 by a developer named Jake James. So while it is technically possible to jailbreak your devices right now, I will discuss a little bit later in this video why I would suggest to just wait for the final public Electra Jailbreak to be released. <laughs> So yesterday, being July 4th, we received some major information regarding the release of the Electra Jailbreak, and if you want to hear that news, check out Tanner's latest video that he published yesterday morning, or wait until the end of this video and I'll give a recap of its current status. So don't forget to subscribe now, as the Jailbreak's release is imminent and could drop at any time now. If you want to be notified the second it's released, hit that subscribe button, and of course, give this video a huge thumbs up if you appreciate these daily updates. Alright, so like I stated in the intro of this video, a developer Jailbreak has been released by Jake James, which allows for some slight modification of your iOS devices. Now that being said, if it was going to be months before the Electra Jailbreak was going to be released, I would highly advise to check this Jailbreak out, but considering it's literally days away from dropping, I'm advising viewers to avoid this jailbreak and simply wait for the final release of the Electra jailbreak. Because remember, this is only a developer beta jailbreak. It will require a developer account for now to compile and install it. It does not contain Cydia, thus tweaks must manually be installed via SSH. And even at that, only certain tweaks can be installed. Now, I was impressed with Jake James as to how he managed to get this jailbreak to work correctly without a remount to the iOS file system. Essentially, the jailbreak allows for tweaks to run from a different folder that's not located in the root of the file system. It actually runs tweaks from the same folder as the initial Electra jailbreak beta, thus no remount is required. As you can see from this tweet, everything is installed in var containers slash bundle. But with that, there are some limitations. For now, only the springboard settings, clock, and messages can be tweaked. So this is just incredible news that a new developer to the scene actually somewhat beat Cool Start to the Chase on release a new iOS 11 jailbreak, and while this sounds like it's all that and a bag of chips, there are a ton of limitations with the methods used to create this jailbreak. Now according to James, this jailbreak will not conflict with the Electra jailbreak in any way, and there is also an uninstall button. But again, like I said, since we are literally a day or two away from a complete and full-fledged jailbreak from Coolstar, I would just wait for the final end user utility to be released and not mess with this developer jailbreak. As if it was used incorrectly, it can mess up your device and force you into restoring. Even James says this, a quick note, now that Electra is about to be released, my rootless jailbreak is not a competitor. It is a new concept which will be useful once there are no public ways to remount the file system. It was made to prove what can be done without it. He also states that Electra is the way to go. My jailbreak will only be useful for people who want minimalistic tweaks without jailbreak detection, and again will also be useful when there's no remount. And one last tweet, he says, also at this point in time, use Electra. As I said, this is not a competitor. You'll find it useful when there's no remount exploit available, and even James says he will personally use Electra on his devices. So again guys, the point of this story is yes, there's a developer jailbreak out right now, but again, just wait for the final Electra jailbreak to come out before you attempt to jailbreak your devices. Coolstar and the Electra jailbreak team, as a recap, notified everyone late Tuesday evening that the file system remount, aka the final piece of the puzzle, was completed and that a public release will be happening in a few days. And this was all posted a few days ago. Thus, a public release could happen at any point now. The Electra Jailbreak will support all devices running iOS 11.2 to 11.3.1 as well. Also, as a quick update from yesterday's video, the Electra Jailbreak's website, its progress bar has been updated to now display future storing test devices. And even during the time of me recording this video, initially the site has since been updated to now say running extra recipe on last test device. So again guys, the full-fledged end user jailbreak is so close to being released. I know the developer jailbreak can't be tempting, but just wait a few more days, maybe even hours, and you will safely be able to jailbreak and customize your devices. It's going to be worth the wait guys, as this could very well be one of the most stable jailbreaks the community has seen in a long time. Again, give this video a huge thumbs up if you are excited to jailbreak your devices, 
and hit that subscribe button to be notified the second the Electro Jailbreak is released. But on the off chance you don't have time to watch an entire video, I would highly suggest to bookmark this Jailbreak status checker site, which is updated in real time. Again, we'll be the first to cover the new Jailbreaks released, and we'll promptly provide a tutorial video as well as a written tutorial for everyone once it's released, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching today's video, but until next time guys, this is Tony, signing out.